Tonight, you ask, we investigate. Some Foley homeowners say military aviation training is ruining their quality of life, and they have asked the Navy to back off. Several residents living in the Glen Lake subdivision off County Road 20 say T-6 aircraft from nearby Barron Field fly extremely low over their homes. They say the training exercises are loud and last all day. But the Navy says its pilots are following proper procedure and are in compliance with FAA regulations. Here's News 5's Pat Peterson. Bill and Susan Trimble moved to Foley from Arkansas two years ago. We come down to Paradise, and then the next thing we know, we've got Navy planes flying all around us, all over the place. Our realtor told us nothing. We had no idea there was a military facility close by. The Trimbles and some of their neighbors say military pilots training on the T-6 aircraft fly right over their house from the time they wake up until right before dinner. And this goes on all day long. The pilots are using nearby Barron Field for touch-and-go exercises. We're not anti-military. I'm a former naval officer myself. It's really bad. I hate getting up in a bad mood every morning. I hate praying for rain every morning. I hate ducking my head when I go out in my backyard because I think they're going to crash into me. We want the Navy to move their operations from Baron NOLF to somewhere where it's not an inhabited area, where they can fly and not disrupt the lives of people. We obviously want to be good stewards of the taxpayers' money, and we don't want, we're not here to create noise, we're here to create uh, naval aviators. The pilots that use Barron Field are stationed at NAS Whiting Field near Milton, Florida. Colonel Gary Kling is commanding officer and is aware of the noise complaints. Colonel Kling says flight time at Barron has been cut in recent years because students now spend more time in flight simulators. FY15 was 38,000 touch and goes. And that compares to an average, like I said, between 60 and 80,000 in the past. Military officials understand the homeowner's concerns, but say flight operations at Barron are in compliance with FAA regulations. This isn't about me or you. It's about the national defense. It's a national security issue. Now, Colonel Kling also suggests realtors get involved. The colonel says that's the responsibility of local real estate agents to notify potential home buyers if there is an active airfield nearby. Live on the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5.